Hi everyone, welcome to the makeup chair. We are back with another video and I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. But as always, I am here to help. So if you need any more advice, any more help, even if it's not related to this video, definitely let me know in the comment section or you can message me on Instagram, which is at Katie. My DMs are open for you guys. With all that said, let's get started with today's video. So this first question comes in from Jess. How do I keep my foundation from separating between my brows? So this is a very common thing, not just with people who wear glasses, but just in general. Between your brows, you probably have very soft amount of hair there, and this can create a little bit of a boundary. And then when you put glasses on top, you're creating this barrier that's gonna trap air in between. So this is why you're getting a little bit of separation. It has nothing to do with your foundation, your primer, your concealer. They have a small amount to play in this. It's actually your application that's probably causing the separation. First thing is exfoliate the area. Make sure you're sticking on top of your skincare routine. Then what I would recommend doing is removing any excess moisture because moisture usually causes the separation. So get yourself some blotting paper. All you wanna do is once you've applied all of your moisture, take your sheet, press it over the area, lift and then apply your powders and you should find that it doesn't separate as much and you can also do this on the go as well so take that sheet press it over remove any of the excess moisture and then go in with like a press powder press powders are great for on the go because they're not as messy as loose powders so take a little bit of this dab it over that area and you will find that that will minimize the look of the separation also if you find that your makeup is looking perfect just before you put your glasses on use a setting spray that will lock that in there for you but blotting sheets all the way Next question comes in from Allison and she is brand new to makeup. I'm wondering if there's any tips on finding your foundation shade during different seasons. So you might start off the year as like a shade one and then a shade two, three as it works towards the summer and then you might drop back down again. And this can be very frustrating, particularly if you're new to makeup. You might have already found the perfect foundation shade and now all of a sudden it's too light or it's too dark. And so what I would recommend trying are these adjuster drops. They sound scary and it sounds like it's gonna be really complicated, but it's not, it's actually really fun. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to like mix the different shades together? That's basically all this is. It's mixing one or two drops in a light or dark with your regular foundation to make sure that it works for you. Give it a try and definitely let me know how you get on. But if you need any more tips on this particular subject, definitely let me know. Next question comes in from PM and she's asking about the difference between the Bare Minerals Loose Foundation and the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which I love so much. So I get this question a lot and I really want to just talk you guys through this. Basically... There's no difference. It's all about the price point and it's also about personal choice. The L'Oreal True Match is cheaper. I also find I don't use as much and I also feel like I get a really beautiful coverage from it, which I can also build on and adjust depending on how I feel. Bare Minerals I find is a little sheerer. It's not as full coverage. I can't build it up in exactly the same way as I can with a True Match, but that's all personal choice because a lot of people prefer that kind of sheer effect that you get with a powder foundation. But really there isn't any particular difference that I can tell you guys other than the price is a little different and they both work really, really well. But personally, I would go for the L'Oreal True Match all the time. Next question comes in from Gabby and she is wondering if I will do a bridal makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna get my wisdom teeth out soon. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a chance to do a bridal makeup tutorial, but I will try my best. But I do wanna just mention two things that I absolutely love for brides just to help Gabby out so she can have a little bit of a play around with these two products. My main go-to when it comes to bridal or any special occasion is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is gorgeous. Anybody who I know who is a bridal makeup artist or has been a bride or been a bridesmaid, they have all worn this foundation nine times out of 10. It's a little bit pricey. However, my next product, which is the primer that I love, is really cheap. This is the Flormar Illuminating Primer. So the Giorgio Armani is about 45 and then the Flormar is $9.99. So together they're, they kind of balance each other out a little bit. Love it. Beautiful looks great in pictures and it's really long lasting. So those would be my go-tos. The next question is a little bit of a long one, but I really like the amount of detail because this will really help me figure out what the problem is. So this person is applying the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and it's grabbing hold of certain areas and looking really strange. Now the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Foundation is a powder foundation. I think that's the one that she's talking about. If you apply a powder over the top of something that's too wet, you're basically creating a paste and we're not making a cake. We really wanna make sure that our skin is even, that the foundation that's powder is gonna go over the top of something that's not too damp. Best thing that I would actually recommend doing is applying a very sheer amount of a loose powder, something translucent, 
or a setting spray. Basically what that will do is it will not only set everything that you've applied, but it will create a very even layer of dampness all over the skin. And this will prevent that foundation from grabbing hold of certain areas. So what you wanna do is to spritz the skin, allow that to dry, it'll create a beautiful base for you, and then go in with your foundation. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Unless you've already given it a thumbs up and then if you click it again, you'll undo it. So maybe just do it once, just, just that one time. I'd really appreciate it. Check out the other videos on the screen. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that little bell if you haven't already. It's right beside the subscribe button. And check out the other videos on the screen. Did I already say that? If I did, I apologize. Check them out. Okay.